Okay, so I want to talk about how we can essentially create this offline classroom with something called MoodleBox. And for those of you guys who are new to MoodleBox, the idea is that you can essentially put a learning management system called Moodle onto your Raspberry Pi, whether that's like a Raspberry Pi 5 or it could be like the cheapest one, like a Raspberry Pi Zero W2, which is $15. But the, day, the idea behind it is that I can essentially take my own course that I produce on Moodle or somebody else's course and essentially put on my Raspberry Pi. And what happens next is that this produces some sort of Wi-Fi hotspot where various devices, mobile devices, computers, tablets can connect to and access that course offline. Um, and basically you can also track the, the learning progress of your students as well too, which is really interesting. So places that don't have internet or basically has low computing resources, but has a high mobile penetration rate. Uh, this is a really nice solution to that type of problem. So what I want to talk about today is how we can essentially install it onto a Raspberry Pi. So in the next session, we are going to set that up. Okay, so first things first, you need to take your micro SD card. It has to be at least 32 gigabytes of space. And essentially the idea is that we're going to put our Moodlebox operating system into this. So I'm going to take my USB storage device and I'm going to plug it into my computer. And so the site you're going to go to is raspberrypi.com because it's going to have this thing called Raspberry Pi Imager software that we're going to be using. So once you have that installed, I'm going to simply just open it up. And depending on which Raspberry Pi devices you have, right, just select it. Um, remember how I talked about this Raspberry Pi 0W as well. But in my case, I'm going to pick the Raspberry Pi 5. And then we're going to choose our operating system. So inside here, I'm going to go over to other specific purpose OS. And then there's going to be a section called MoodleBox. And I'm just going to simply collect, uh, connect the 4.7.0 version. And then you're going to select your mass storage, which is the one I just plugged in. And I know I have a lot of storage for this. You just need to have 32. But I'm just going to select this and I'm going to click next. And so it's going to ask me, would I like to apply operating system settings? So you're going to click on edit settings and you're going to check these two boxes, the set host name and the set username and password. So for host name, I just set it as middle box. And for the username and password, just for, for starting, uh, for regular configurations, I just set the username as middle box. And for the password, I'm going to call it capital M O O D L E lowercase B lowercase O and X and then four dollar sign. So this is like the default configuration, which this password you can change anytime. But once you have those two configurations set up, you're just gonna click save, and then you're gonna say yes for uh, the customization setting we set up. Now this is super important, right? Before you click on yes, right? This is going to delete all the existing data onto that SD card. Um, and so you wanna make sure that this is either a new SD card that you bought, or this is going to be something that you don't mind not reusing, that this is something that is going to be only purely for the Moodle box. So in my case, I'm just going to say yes, and it's going to be downloading it. So it's going to take some time. Oh, this is just my computer acting weird. Don't worry about this. But basically, it's going to take some time. So uh, get some water, and I'll see you guys back whenever this is finished downloading. OK, so now that it has finished installation, you're going to take your SD card, and you're just going to simply put it inside the Raspberry Pi. Just plug it inside here. And then finally, you're going to take your little charger, and you're going to plug it in. And that is all you have to do. That's it. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's going to take some time, right? But what's happening now, and this is literally all the setup, right? What's happening now is it's basically connecting and getting started up. And then you're going to see this Wi-Fi hotspot, this Wi-Fi connection called MoodleBox. And so I'm just going to go over to my, my phone inside here. And that's my cute dog, Shaggy. And I'm going to go over to internet and in any moment you're going to see that there's something called Moodle box that is going to be popping up. And so this is the way for all these different devices to connect to it. Now it's really important to note that uh, you have to turn off your data and also you need to make sure that any VPN that's on, you have to also turn that off as well too. So now you can see I have access to Moodle box. I'm going to click on it and connect to it. And I think it's already connected. Okay, not yet. Okay, so once it's in the process of connecting, the site that you're going to go over to is HTTP colon slash slash, and you're going to have access to something called MoodleBox dot home. If I could spell home. 
And if you click enter, you're going to see now we have access to that site and it's offline. And so up to 20 devices or mobile devices can connect to that. Well, it also depends on what type of Raspberry Pi you have as well too. Um, but yeah, it's really cool because now basically you can create student logins. You can log in as a guest as well too. In our case, we're going to essentially log in uh, with the username and password that we set up and we're going to change that. But remember that thing that we set up inside the, uh, the operating system setup. So you can do capital M O O D L E B O X for dollar sign and log in. And that's going to give you access to the admin page. And just like, just you no, know, at this point, this is just Moodle, but you can essentially open this up and you can add your courses inside here. So you can create courses or you can also take other people's courses and put it onto your device as well. So for example, right, what I have over here is something called Moodle.net. And this is like a variety of Moodle courses that you can take and download to your own computer. So for example, there's like one that's interesting called effective memory techniques, and I can just simply download the file and I can put it into my Moodle course to access it offline. And that's pretty much how you set it up inside there. I forgot to talk about this, but how do you properly turn this thing off? And so there's many approaches. Some people, they put in like buttons so they can have an on and off switch. But in our case, um, I'm going to connect it to the HDMI so I'll be able to see what it looks like in the inside. And so typically you don't really need to mess with this whenever you have it plugged in and you want to start using the Moodle course, right? In our case, we're just here to shut it off. So basically I'm just going to log in with Moodle. I got to type with one hand, Moodle box. Click enter, and then remember that set it, password we set up, so it's gonna be capital M O O D L E B O X four in dollar sign. And click enter, and now I'm in the system. And if we wanna shut this off, I just have to simply say sudo um, shut down dash H, and now. And click enter, and it's gonna be shut off now. All right. Well, best of luck with your Moodle box and Raspberry Pi and have fun with it. Bye.